Hello everybody, welcome back here to franktortorici.com. Uh, today is uh, May 14th and there's a lot of buzz going on on the web that Angelina Jolie has had a mastectomy. Uh, I think she was told her statistics were like 87% chance of getting breast cancer and yada 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 yada. Um, you know, real briefly, obviously, like on the social media, this articles and everything's going haywire. And I just feel like in doing in doing my part, um, like I always do through my videos, you know, without without telling people what to do, uh, just really the the major suggestion that I would have is, it's it's really mind boggling that a person of Angelina Jolie's stature and uh, connections and power that she went that route. Uh, I even question if, if if she did. I mean, there's a whole other uh, train of thought with the CFR and her and Brad Pitt being big uh, Obamacare supporters, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to get into that in this. Really, what I wanted to touch on is I wonder if the man who cut off Angelina Jolie's breasts actually sat down with her and discussed the importance of a high alkaline diet opposed to a high acidic diet, uh, if he discussed the importance of rebalancing the body through cleansing and uh, acupuncture and, and, and things of that nature and just living more of a preventative lifestyle. Uh, Reverend Michael Beckwith from the Agape Spiritual Center has a very profound statement, many profound statements, but one that always sticks out in my head is he always says when you're worrying, it's like paying interest on money that you never borrowed. So in doing with Angel what Angelina did and is going to inspire so many beautiful women out there to do the same is just that uh, you know the statistics are the statistics if you research them and to simply cut off organs and body parts whatever you, <laughs> that that we're born with just on the presumption of what if is is kinda crazy I mean I know we've gotten used to man playing the creator or whatever you want to call it through our food with all the GMO crap going on and it's like now just through man testing now we've given man the power to cut off uh, breasts and you know think nothing of it and you know again I wonder if that doctor actually spoke with her and you know acknowledged the importance of that I believe I believe don't quote me but at least 90 91 percent of all breast cancer tissues when they're biopsied they find parabens and other types of chemicals from deodorants and female products and makeups etc so you know when you have an acidic body disease dis-ease is going to show up in the body no matter what organs I don't care how many organs you cut off so if you're living a toxic acidic lifestyle then you know, if Angelina's living a toxic, acidic lifestyle and she's cut off her breasts, well, you know, knock on wood and I hope I'm wrong, but disease will show up in, in, in other parts of the body. So, you know, you can't outrun a poor, unhealthy lifestyle. There's there's no way of avoiding it. It's if, if you abuse yourself and you acidify yourself, that's the path you're going down. I don't care how many organs you're convinced to cut out or cut off of your body. So... I just hope all the women out there that are getting caught up in this craze now, um, again, because this is headline news on a lot of the social media sites, uh, when you go speak to your doctor, you know, ask him those particular questions. Well, if I live an alkaline to acid lifestyle, what are my chances? Uh, if I eat more of these foods and not these foods, what are my chances? If I cleanse... What are my chances? If I minimize my stress, what are my chances? If I minimize my toxic levels through chemicals and makeups and deodorants, what are my chances? If he can't answer any of those questions, but he can answer the conventional questions of cut, poison, and burn, then you know what I would do is I would go get another opinion and another suggestion from someone that's versed from both sides. If you're just getting one side of the story, then you have to question the motive of 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 that individual and what they're trying to accomplish with your body, your God given organs that are there for a purpose. If if it ain't fix, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? I mean that's the the common statement. So, you know, I've met plenty of people in my life that parents have had certain illnesses and then the children never received it and vice versa. So, 
our health is in our own hands. I mean, I know there's statistics and there's numbers from conventional medicine saying if a woman's mom had this, they're bound to get it. That's cool. That's that's numbers. But I would like to know those numbers that they pulled that from where they did those studies. I would like to know what type of lifestyles those particular individuals lived um, in order to produce those types of numbers and feed that to you. Like that's the truth and that's the be all end all reality of what you're dealing with. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have not clicked the subscription button here on YouTube, please feel free to do so. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. Go to my website, franktortorici.com. And just remember, um, your health is in your hands. You're either, with everything we put in our body, you're either fighting or feeding dis-ease. So it's your choice. Peace and love.